And that's how I adopted John. Chris Pratt is Garfield, because this is just the world we live in now. We just got our spicy first look at the Garfield movie. Not to be confused with Garfield the movie, or movie Garfield the. Okay, I made that last one up. The first half of the trailer is dedicated to this emotional origin story of everyone's favorite Monday hating cat. He's tiny and cute, and also unfortunately living on the street. It's only when he meets John Arbuckle that his life begins to change for the better. We then get a peek into how he lives, but the real storyline surrounds his never before seen dead. In a surprising turn of events, he actually came back from the store getting milk. Now it's not obvious in the trailer, but the Garfield movie story is actually a heist. Garfield, the world famous, Monday hating, lasagna loving indoor cat, is about to have a wild outdoor adventure. After an unexpected reunion with his long lost father, Struffy Street Cat Vic, Garfield and his canine friend Odie are forced from their perfectly pampered life into joining Vic in a hilarious high stakes heist. Anyway, let's talk about the look of this thing. Turning a comic strip into a fully CG animated movie means the team needs to make some liberties. It can't copy the original style one to one. This Garfield is fuzzier and a bit more lively than his comic counterpart. He still shows off his grumpy personality, but the movie keeps him expressive with these wacky exaggerated looks. Odie also makes his jump into the world of semi-realistic cartoony CG animation, and I don't really have any complaints. They're both nice designs. Aside from the style though, What's going on with that whole missing dad thing? I guess it's a way to stand out and bring something new to the table. Keep in mind this is nowhere near the first Garfield movie. We can't just watch a basic origin story the entire time. We need something new. Garfield's dad works, but I still don't know what to expect from the whole heist thing. Not sure where that came from. What you should also know about the Garfield movie is the director behind it, Mark Dindal. He's the same guy who brought you Cats Don't Dance, The Emperor his new groove, and Chicken Little. The man's got talent, and he has some experience with cats. Who knows, maybe this won't be terrible. But one thing that some fans do think is terrible is the casting of Chris Pratt as Garfield. It's just weird. He's not doing a voice or anything, he's just playing himself. I kinda wish they got Frank Welker, the current voice of Garfield, but that doesn't sell tickets now, does it? Welcome to the timeline where these two characters are voiced by the same guy. Why? Either way though, the Garfield movie looks like a solid time. You can look forward to it in summer 2024. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.